Are you happy to jump from relationship to relationship or would you actually like your dating life to take you somewhere? And just as important, would you like to enjoy the journey on the way to wherever it is you think you'd like to go? <laughs> if so, then join us today as we're going to talk about purpose-driven dating. On Love Ed with Julie and MJ. Are you pointing that way? <laughs> MJ's <laughs> over there. Anyways, I, I like the title Purpose Driven Dating and not just because it has alliteration though. Did, 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 that is did, did, one of did, the did. things that I like about it. But also because it shows us that we have a point to our dating life. We're actually trying to get somewhere and it may not even be necessarily to marriage. We're going to cover that in this series. But we're also not wandering around aimlessly just hoping everything's going to work out okay. No. Something you might be interested to know is Purpose Driven Dating is actually the final session in a discussion series we call Friends Don't Let Friends Date Dumb. But it wasn't always the final session <laughs> because originally I just wrote all that material to have fun pointing out what's wrong with contemporary dating. And mm -hmm. it is fun. It's entertaining. It's always fun pointing out what's stupid about stupid. Not so fun pointing out what's smart about smart. That's not as fun. But it didn't change the fact that at the end of this series, I have students asking, well, okay, don't do that, don't do that, do that. What are we supposed to do? Hmm. Purpose-driven dating is our answer to that question. Yeah. Well, we want to make clear from the beginning that we are not trying to come up with a specific method for dating or courting. There mm -hmm. is lots of freedom in Christ. This is not dating God's way. <laughs> not at all. Instead, we want to give you some guidelines that will empower you to enjoy your dating life including every single dreaded first date <laughs> until the dreamy wedding date. Yeah. And I know Michael and I, we could have used some good guidelines in our dating lives. Yes. We were messed up at some different points. I remember your nickname, MC Scammer. Uh, how about, you... what did my roommates call you back yeah. in college? Oh, that would be the love master. Yeah, so I remember in high school, you know, that whole breaking up and getting back together and breaking up so many times that you can't remember. And uh, some direction would have been helpful for us. You know, it's really no mystery why it's such a mess. Imagine if we treated our career pursuit the way we haphazardly treat dating. Forget about going to college, forget about going to high school. No <laughs> trade school, no tech school. High school Just is required. Just wander down the road looking for a job until the moment you fall in love and you go home and you tell your mom and your kids, or you, well, not your kids. <laughs> Whoa, well, your maybe you do. Your mom and your brother and sisters or whatever. Friends, okay. I think I found the one. And then you go to that job interview and they're like, hey, well, what are your, what's your experience? So what are your qualifications? Mm -hmm. What's your education? You're like, I don't know about any of that stuff, but I feel really good about this. Yeah, that's, not going to work out. No. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times dating doesn't work out because it is entered so hap entered into so haphazardly. Julie, why don't you read our definition? I see you got the definition yeah. right there so in yeah, your hands of purpose-driven dating. Handy. Yeah. Intentional time invested in one other person for the purpose of growing in intimacy that might lead to a life-giving, lifelong marriage. Now, did, did you catch all that? Did you write that down? Mm -hmm. That's okay that you didn't. We knew you wouldn't. That's why there's a little link at the bottom because I've already blogged all the way through this entire session on our Date Night Advice blog, so you can check out the link below. And in the next few episodes, we're going to go through that definition piece by piece. Section. We're going to take it apart piece by piece. <laughs> section by section. and Section by section. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. So join us next time for Love Head with Julie and MJ. Piece by piece. <laughs>